People often ask me how their partner with borderline personality disorder could leave them or betray them after they've spent so many years bending over backwards trying to help them, fix them, save them. In this video, I'm going to share a story with permission that a man named Russell shared with me recently about how his fairy tale turned to tragedy. I'm Lisa LeBlanc and today I'm talking about BPD and the grief, self-doubt and sense of betrayal and failure that partners often feel when they give everything they've got and then get discarded or betrayed in the end. At the end of this video, I will also answer the most common question I get asked after the final discard or betrayal and that is, Will she find happiness with someone else? If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And please note that the goal of my channel is to help men identify, understand, and heal from toxic relationships. I also create content for women, but my focus is on men because throughout my 25 year career as a therapist and life coach, I have found that there's a serious lack of support and resources for men who experience relationship abuse. Okay, so here is Russ's story, metaphorically told in his own eloquent words on how the abrupt end of his marriage with his wife who has BPD left him feeling lost, betrayed, and like a complete fool and failure. Okay, so my beautiful wife of 27 years and a person with BPD left three years ago, ending our journey together. Her love was the promised land and I was eager to prove my devotion. Together, we wandered in the desert for many years, looking for the lush green forest at the edge of a lake where, surrounded by snow-capped mountains, she could find peace and purpose. I brought plenty of food and water, which never seemed to quench her thirst or satisfy a hunger that she could not identify or describe. Occasionally, we came upon an oasis where we were content and happy. But in time, every time, once again, the spring would go dry and we would resume the search each time in a different direction. Now very wary, our water supply is a burden I no longer wished to carry. I tapped into the last reserves of inner strength to stumble onward in this barren landscape, gripped by fear of what is beyond the ever-shifting dunes ahead. The blazing sun is high above and I no longer have my bearings, but once again there on the horizon is a sea of green. Her enchanting song once again draws me to Bristol Cove on the lake in the mountains. We lay down together in the cool green grass, but I soon realize once again that it is an illusion. Like a mirage in the blink of an eye, it all vanishes, and this time she too is gone. I realize I've lost my faith, I must give up the quest and turn back, no longer certain of the way home. The sun has now set, and in the darkness I cannot resist the urge to look over my shoulder with each uncertain step. It has become second nature to worry about her. I will always feel her pain and hunger, her loneliness in the void. I am overwhelmed with an unfamiliar sensation and try to accept that I no longer have the will to rescue her from the discontent she has felt her entire life. Even worse, I realize my arrogance to think I ever could. At the same time, I try to erase the image that she may have found the promised land without me and is swimming in the cool, clear water. I think, how weak of me to have given up, saddened by the knowledge that I will never see her again. What am I to do with the love that I still have for her? It simply pours out onto the dry sand and evaporates without purpose. The witness of my existence now gone my heart is tormented by waves of sorrow, like the breakers of some ancient sea crashing on a rocky shore. The primeval granite reduced to particles of sand, now long forgotten, 
so too will our story be relegated to a footnote, then fade on the parchment of time with each passing generation. I pry upon the wind, hoping to hear her sweet voice one last time, a faint echo from the promised land as she whispers, I know now he truly loved me. I imagine her weeping with the thought, how could I have been so blind for all of these years? We should have found paradise together. It was a leap of faith she was unable to take, infected with an invisible wound suffered alone in her cradle so many years ago, long before her happiness became the purpose of my life. Our special place by the lake will forever remain lost beyond the horizon, and when she or I, the last of what was once us, departs this worldly existence, no one will say they were in love and are together again. So this story is pretty deep and touching. And if you've had this type of experience, having spent years of your life trying to help and save a partner with borderline personality disorder, only to someday realize that your valiant efforts and sacrifices were not only in vain, but caused you to lose your self-confidence, self-worth, and your sense of direction and your sense of self. And this can leave a dark hole in your heart, leaving you feeling disappointed, disillusioned, maybe even depressed. You may spend an inordinate amount of time researching and obsessing over what went wrong, what you could have done differently, and whether someone else could have succeeded. So let me be crystal clear here. Unless she commits to intensive treatment to learn how to manage her symptoms and cope with this disorder, she will be doomed to relive and repeat the same unstable patterns and damaging relationships. No one will be able to fill the emptiness or fight her demons for her. Until she gets the help she needs, there will be no one who can successfully carry the burden of regulating, stabilizing, or satiating the void and darkness. So even though someone with BPD can bring great gifts to your life, if they remain untreated, it is highly likely that they will also bring great devastation. If you're recovering from a toxic relationship, you may want to check out my Toxic Relationship Recovery Online program that I linked in the description section in this video. This course will help you learn how to resolve the emotional baggage that you're carrying, that you may have brought into the relationship, how to break the trauma bond, and how to redefine who you authentically are. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe to my channel. And for more information about what it's like to recover from a toxic relationship, please click on the link above.